so I thought I would make this uh, screencast just to show how we're doing this um, game here at the end of Accelerated Chemistry and Distance Learning Land. Um, <clears throat> so I'll, I'll work. I'll take you through it. A couple of things. First, I am not a huge game person as a teacher. Like I think a lot of times, gamifying things is kind of a silly thing. Sometimes it's outright offensive. Like if people gamify the wrong things. Like simulate slavery or something like yeah, yeah, no 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 no. Um, so I really wanted to be uh, attentive to that, and also I have a little bit of an opportunity here uh, in these last month or so of school to do this um, and just fail, right? Fail in constructive and interesting ways. Um, my kids in accelerated chemistry have indicated they're pretty bored by how lessons are being delivered, etc. And there's a bit of a difficulty in doing labs and whatnot in chemistry. So I figured now would be a good time to to try this. So uh, I, I made this deck, we're calling it a game of chem, right? And um, there's some stuff at the beginning. This is kind of to explain to students how this works, right? And so we're, we're, we're building this called a chem quest, so to speak, right? And so we're thinking about it and just mapping sort of a game context onto it. Essentially, there's like a cycle, right? Where we want students to study and then there'll be a series of challenges. And once they get enough experience, then they can challenge the summative or like the boss battle, yeah? Additionally, uh, the teacher is kind of available always, I'm calling me here, the grizzled master available for wisdom and solace. And then also we build out some formative instant feedback style multiple choice quizzes that kids can take, which we're calling the feats of strength, right? And so uh, we're going to have each kid work through this training quest in acids and bases. I've given them all just kind of like silly names, right? So the strong waters is the acids and bases one. And so there's going to be a pear deck, which has the, the tomes of knowledge. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And then um, info docs and activity packet. And so then here are the challenges for this particular quest. Challenge one is an acid-based puzzle that we have. Uh, challenge two is to complete web assigned questions. Uh, challenge three is a series of explore learning gizmos. Um, challenge four is to complete all the info docs for the video. So that go with the course, and challenge five is to complete uh, the activity packet that goes with the course. And so uh, if you add all this up, there's two and a half total points of experience here, and the summative requires two points. And so students will just kind of be turned loose on this, and we'll see what happens. Um, what else here? We, we do have a way to save uh, student progress, so I built this save form, right, that kids can uh, fill out and they get routed to their particular quest and then they pick what they're doing and they upload a URL for it and I can get a notification on my end about that and so I know when they're doing it, etc. And then once they've got enough experience in a particular unit, they can then email me and we can set up their summative boss battle, right? So, uh, yeah, if we go back here, uh, we've got a couple of different quests. We're experimenting with some other things too. So we've got one on electrochem and nuclear and organic chemistry. And then we have like this, uh, this dungeon quest that we're building out where a colleague is going to offer um, uh, reassessment opportunities. And so each one of these has its own map, right? And uh, we can kind of look at it all together down here. This kind of puts it all together. So here's the different units and links for like the Pear Deck and the application packet. And the feats of strength, formative quizzes, and then the gizmos and the, the various things. Some things that are team-oriented and some things that are individually oriented. I'm going to go into the acid base module now, right, so you can kind of see how this is set up. So what we have here are some, some introductory instructions, resources that are needed, and then a link to a video. Uh, we have slide handouts to help them with their capture, their scaffolding. We've also run these through Edpuzzle if kids want to do it there. So those are just the publicly posted links. Um, and then at the end of each lesson, after they've looked at the video, etc., there's a couple of prompts that they'll answer in Pear Deck for each one. And then we kind of move on there. So like here's, uh, and then there's like a, a, a cue, right? So now in this packet, do this activity. If you need help, get in touch. And then later on, like here, for instance, you can see that here's where the first Google Form Feed of Strength quiz is available for them. And so um, the way that they're going to work through that is they're going to work through it in Pear Deck. So we're just going to set this up as a student-paced Pear Deck, get that link, give that link to kids, and so they can work through it kind of in their own time um, and, and hack at it that way. And so uh, that's pretty much the way that this is going to work. I don't know how well it's going to work, but that's kind of the, the plan for this. Um, we'll see. But it was an interesting way to kind of get at this 
this uh, notion of giving them something a little bit different here at the end of this crazy time, just to kind of figure out what works and what doesn't. Um, maybe you see some red flags. Maybe you have some questions. If so, uh, ship those over. I'd love to get a handle on those. All right, cool. Thanks.